Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today we're going to display the most viewed post section on the homepage using Metabox and Bricks Builder. In this tutorial, I used Bricks to build this homepage, and here is the place I want to show the wanted section. I'll take the restaurant as a demo for this practice. Each restaurant is a post of the post type named restaurants. The extra information, such as logo, voucher, and address will be saved in the custom fields. In addition, these restaurants are the most viewed ones on the website. To track the number of views for each post, we'll use a third-party plugin. We have Metabox here to create a custom post type and custom fields. Furthermore, we'll need some advanced features of Metabox. So you can install its extensions individually or use Metabox AIO to have the following extensions. MB Custom Post Type helps to create a custom post type for restaurants. And Metabox Builder has a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. As we said before, we'll use a third-party plugin called MP Post Views. It will assist us in counting post views. Finally, we'll use Bricks to build the homepage and display this most viewed post section. Go to Metabox and create a post type for the restaurant. Each restaurant has extra information, so we'll create custom fields to save it. Here are the fields that I created. These fields have no special settings so let's create them. After creating all the custom fields, go to the Settings tab, choose Location, as Post Type, and select Restaurant to apply these fields to this post type. Go to the Post Editor, you will see all of the created custom fields. Then just fill in the information. Normally, in the post listing in the backend, you only see the post title, the date, and nothing else. In this practice, I'll add a column of information about the posts view here. To do it, go to the settings of the MP Post Views plugin, check this box to display the column showing the post views, and choose the post type you want to count the posts view. In this case, it's the restaurant. Then, go back to the list of posts, and you will see the new column appear. It is the number of the posts view. Based on this number, we'll choose which one has the most views and display it in the section. Now, edit the home page with Bricks Builder. First, select the section element to have the section that shows the most viewed posts. Next, Add a heading element. And name the title. In this container element inside the section, select the div element to contain the restaurant's information. Then, to get the data of restaurants, enable the use query loop button. And in the query section, choose the type as posts. In this box, choose the post type you want to get data from. In this case, I would sort the posts by post views to get the posts with the most views. So in the order by section, choose the meta numeric value option to get the value in numeric. Move here to fill in this one, which is generated by WP post views to filter the wanted posts. In the order section, select the descending option to sort the posts in order from the most viewed posts to the fewer viewed posts. 
And the last one is that we should limit the number of posts displayed in the section. So set the number of posts you want to show in this place. Now, it's time to display the information for each restaurant. Inside this div, select the image element to display the image of the restaurant. Then, click the select dynamic data icon and choose the featured image option. As you can see, the image is displayed in the preview. For the voucher information, choose the basic text element. As the restaurant's voucher is saved in the custom field created by Metabox, also use the select dynamic data icon and select the right field. Here, it's voucher. Then, you'll see the restaurant's voucher displayed immediately. To get the restaurant's name automatically, add the post title element. For the address information, do the same with the voucher field. Add a basic text element, then connect it to the address field. The restaurant's logo is the last information we want to display. Choose the image element. As the images are saved in the custom field, choose the select dynamic data icon and select the right field. You see that the logos of restaurants appear. We have finished getting all the restaurant information that we want to display in the most viewed post section. As you can see in the preview, all the most viewed restaurant information is displayed. For styling, go back to the page editor with bricks. Then choose each element and change the settings to style them. You also can add some CSS to have a more advanced style like this. Go to the home page. All the featured restaurants are displayed as we want. That's all for the tutorial today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.